top 10 reasons why Rick Perry is still relevant. Number 10. Hell, I don't know. Uh, so, Rick Perry's latest and hopefully last ad of his campaign, I guess you could call it a campaign if you're feeling exceedingly generous. Personally, I dispense with the first syllable and just refer to it as a pain. The latest ad of Rick Perry's pain. Not Rick Perry's pain, my pain. The latest ad of Rick Perry's campaign to cause me pain has generated quite a stir on the internet. Sa plural internets, because, you know, we do that now. <laughs> Let's just fucking watch it. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian. Rick Perry is not ashamed to admit that he's a Christian. Wow! What a ballsy statement in an 80% Christian country. Seriously, if you put Christians versus non-Christians in the USA in a pie chart, it looks like fucking Pac-Man. But you don't need to be in the pew every Sunday to know that there's something wrong in this country when gays can serve openly in the military. Yeah, man. You know there's something wrong when we allow gay people to serve in the military. Gay people going overseas, putting their lives on the line for America. There's something wrong when we allow that. Yeah, man, when you're going over there to spill the blood of our enemies, you don't want no chicks and no fags over there. You want big, manly, muscular men who like pussy. But our kids can't openly celebrate Christmas or pray in school. What fucking kid in America is being prevented from celebrating Christmas? Like, what teacher is like, hey, you drew a Christmas tree on your binder? That's like 50 demerits or whatever. You're going to detention. You're suspended. That offends the one Muslim girl in class, you little bastard. You need to be more considerate. Where does that happen? Where has that happened in America? Find me the location. I have not heard this story. And as for kids not being able to pray in class, kids can pray all they want. They can even start little church groups and, and meet at the school. They can meet at the school and discuss Bible study. When I was a kid, there was a girl who did her oral report in speech class about the rapture and how most of her classmates were going to fucking go to hell. And that was okay. That was fine. No one cared. The teacher didn't stand up and say, Hey, you can't do that here. No, because prayer is allowed in school. Prayer is fine in school. The only problem is teacher-led prayer in school. That's the only thing we don't allow anymore. We don't allow mandatory prayer. We don't allow the teacher or the principal or some school official to say, Now I would like to lead the school in prayer. If an individual student who happens to be devoutly religious wants to pray, they can have at it. There's plenty of fucking free time during the damn school day. The time that I spent doodling in my notebook, writing shitty emo poetry because I was 15 years old, those fucking kids can... Dear Jesus, please bless mama, the mama. No one cares. It's okay. It's fine. They're allowed to do it. The only thing that was banned from school was mandatory prayer. As president, I'll end Obama's war on religion. Obama's war on religion? When did this fucking start? I must have missed a press conference somewhere. I mean, I, I, isn't this the same Obama that had this crazy pastor? We bombed Nagasaki and we nuked far more than the thousands in New York and the Pentagon and we never batted an eye. We yeah! Remember, conservatives, when you were all complaining about that guy? Yeah, you used to complain and bitch about, oh, Jeremiah Wright, he's evil, blah, blah, blah. Did you forget about that guy now? 
Is that no longer convenient for you to remember? Isn't this the same Obama that uh, continued Bush's faith-based initiatives, in fact, expanded upon them? Isn't this the same Obama that said, Jesus Christ died for my sins and I am redeemed through him? It is a source of strength and sustenance that I don't walk alone. That Obama? That Obama declared war on religion? The same Obama that had Rick Warren? Rick motherfucking Warren, author of The Purpose Driven Life, crazy conservative religious fucktard, do the invocation at his inauguration. The same Obama? Now he declared war on religion? I must have missed that, Rick Perry. I must have missed that particular day when Obama came out and said to the world, you know what I'm sick of? Religion. Let's declare war. America, I know you're an 80% Christian nation. I know that you guys are a pack man of religion, but I declare war on religion. By the way, vote for me in 2012. What? Obama never said that. Obama is not doing that. You are, what, I don't know. Also, didn't you guys used to always talk about how Obama was a secret Muslim? How can he be a secret Muslim if he has a war against religion? Islam is a religion. So, I mean, make up your mind. Obama, oh, he's a Muslim. Oh, he has a crazy Christian pastor. Oh, he hates religion. You guys are like a fucking schizophrenic man on a bus that just yells whatever pops into your stupid fucking heads. It doesn't matter if it contradicts itself. He's a Muslim, he's a crazy Christian, he's an atheist who's out to destroy religion. He's all three of those things. <laughs> and I'll fight against liberal attacks on our religious heritage. 54% of liberals say that their religious faith is very important to their lives. Now granted, it's higher among conservatives. It's 82% for them. But 54% is nothing to sneeze at. It's not an insignificant, trifling little number. A good, decent chunk of liberals are very religious. So how can you say that there is a concerted, liberal effort to undermine religion? You can't! Unless you want to look like an idiot, which Rick Perry, of course, does. Faith made America strong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the A-bomb. It can make her strong again. Meh. I'm Rick Perry, and I approve this message. What? Of course you're fucking Rick Perry, and you approve this message. You're standing right there. We can see you. That's for like an ad that doesn't show you and it has like the scary snide guy who's like President Obama declared war against religion. And then at the end you're like, I'm Rick Perry and I approve this message. But when you're actually the one in the ad talking and we can see you talking and we can see that you're Rick Perry and we can see that you're delivering a message that you obviously approve of, you don't need to end the ad with, I'm Rick Perry and I approve this message. No, not necessary. Just not fucking. I'm what some people would consider a political commentator, which means I have to read the news read the reactions of the public, do a little bit of research, and take what's floating around out there in the zeitgeist, crystallize it, crush it, and snort it into my fucking brain. And then do one of three things with it. One, turn it on its head and look at it from a brand new perspective that no one else saw it from. Two, defy the public. Show them why they're wrong be the iconoclast. Or three, bolster the public. T take everything they already said and think and give them exactly what they want to hear. In this video, I took the third option because there's no fucking way that I could look at this from another angle. There's no fucking way that I could take Rick Perry's side. And there's no fucking way that I could ignore something this stupid. So, as a political commentator, the best I can come up with, the best summary, the best...
closed capsule, you know, let's fit this all into one neat little statement that I can come up with is this. I'm going to come up close for this. Come on, let's, let's come in close here. Now this is maybe too close. This is a little uncomfortable. But here you go. Rick Perry is a fucking idiot. That's it. What else needs to be said? We never need to talk about this guy again. Ever.